me. Yeah, so, sounds like it's really time consuming, right? So it's eating up a lot of your time. Probably didn't have a lot of time to even back then. You probably were you married? I was actually at the time. Uh, that didn't last like my pizza place, but. <laughs> <laughs> That, I'm going to introduce Mr. Jonathan Davis. Um, Jonathan, say hi. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, how you doing? You guys are going to learn <laughs> something about Jonathan here in a minute. I interviewed him the other day um, and, and was just on here, just kind of kicking it with him. And I was blown away when I walked away because he's so calm. He's so collected. He's so methodical. And then I learned that he was a high school teacher um, before he became a badass marketer. So tell me a little bit about your journey. What did you do in the past? Let's start when you were 18. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, actually I started when I was 15. I started working full time for the, the neighborhood pool cleaner. So I was uh, I was cleaning pools and then he got me into, into building pools and running electrical and, and plumbing and all that stuff. So the entrepreneur stuff was was always, you know, part of, of my gene. Um, I started my own company out when I was 18, started doing um, like construction cleanups type stuff, uh, purchased a, a restaurant at one point, realized that that sucked. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> and uh, when the when the housing market crashed, I decided I'm going to go to school and become a, a teacher and a coach. I really liked coaching. Um, so became a teacher and uh, I've been doing that ever since. And tell, hate tell me a little bit. Let's stop right there. Let's go back to the restaurant. What kind of restaurant was it? Uh, it was a little Italian place, pizza and wings and pasta and stuff like that. So, uh, so not, not, very only, big. not only are you a badass marketer, but you know how to cook. <laughs> well, let's not get crazy. I can make a pizza or I used to be able to. It's been a, it's been quite a few years. So um, I wouldn't trust me around the kitchen, honestly, anymore. <laughs> yeah. So you, you have a restaurant. What happens uh, to that restaurant? What what exactly happened there? Uh, nothing. We were doing OK. It just, um, it, you know, it, I would work 300 and 360 days a year. You know, you get like five days off. And I would I, I was living in uh, I was living about an hour, hour and a half from where my pizza place was. So I, I'd get up at 6 a.m. I'd drive to work. I'd be there until one or two in the morning. I'd drive home and do it every day. So I uh, really day. realized that it wasn't, <laughs> the, the restaurant business wasn't for me. Yeah, so, sounds like it's really time consuming, right? So it was eating up a lot of your time. Probably didn't have a lot of time to even, back then you probably, were you married? I was actually at the time. Uh, that didn't last like my pizza place, but. <laughs> 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 um, I had a uh, I had a daughter at the time. You know, my daughter was a, only a, like two or three, so uh, really wanted to to spend more time with her. Um, you know, and that's why, you know, your four Fs really really hit me. And uh, you know, I've been focusing on, you know, making sure that I'm holistic in that, not doing just one. You know, because you can get lost in the financial aspect or or, you know, faith or family or fitness, you can get lost in one of those avenues. And, and I found that I personally would, you know, I would get focused so much on one thing. Yeah. And it would hurt the rest of my life. And, and so, yeah, let's, know. let's talk about it. I, mean, I That's the way I was too. As you guys know, you know, you can't get to where you're at, like where I'm at right now, unless at one point in my life, I was completely focused on finance. Like everything else didn't matter. I was working 18 to 24 hour days sometimes. Um, and just passionate about making money, right? And it really ruined a lot of my relationships. If you guys don't know, um, obviously I went through a divorce as well. Um, and, and that was because I was hyper-focused at the time on finance. I didn't care about family. I didn't care about all those other things. And I had no balance, right? And so you kind of went through that same thing. Yeah, you know, and, and balance has been a, a big part of, of what, you know, how I need to focus my life. So even doing Sosa and, you know, you can put things on the back burner. In fact, I had a, a, a conversation right before I, I started coaching Sosa with my kids and said, look, for the next eight weeks, I'm going to be out of commission for a lot of, you know, I'm going to still spend time with you, but it's not going to be as much as we're used to. So, you know, as long as you, you know that for a certain amount of time, you're going to spend and focus on something and then make sure you go back and and hit on those other F's to, to balance yourself out because, you know, like you, like yourself, it's hurt a lot of my relationships and, 
there's been times that, you know, I, I've, I've kind of separated myself from my kids and, you know, I've, I, my weight has fluctuated because I, I haven't been in the, in the, in the gym and stuff like that. And, you know, um, th there's just a lot involved that, that really, you know, if you're not balanced, you're, you're not going to do well in anything. I don't think. 